how to protect yourself from being laid off. Let's face it, layoffs are a constant source of anxiety of many individuals who still have daytime jobs, and that's probably you. Imagine you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s, and it's just a matter of time before someone younger than you is going to take over your job at a much lower salary. I've seen it. You've probably seen it. Or what if you are in senior management or you are one of the higher paid individuals in your company? You are just a layoff notice away of having no job. What if you're a tech worker in Northern California? Since uh, August of this year, there were over 130,000 job losses in the tech industry. Last year, they lost a total of 240,000 jobs, right? So just a matter of time until you have to really look into this and see how secure you really are. But what if you could set up a safety net, okay? A safety net that not only protects you from financial hardship, but also set you up for long-term success. Peter, what is this safety net? Well, this safety net, like I'm gonna share in this video here, it generates passive income. It also relieves you of the burden of solely relying on your job for survival. And number three, it can replace your long-term rep retirement planning. What is this safety net? That's what today's video is. I'm gonna lay it all out for you step by step by step. Let's get started. All right, before we get started here, I'm gonna share with you what I call two common sense moves to do today. This is just in case you are laid off or about to be laid off, or there's whispers in the air of layoffs. These are things that you need to do right now. And how do I know that? It's because over 20 years, I've mentored people of how to lay themselves off, okay? So I can share with you uh, what to do to prepare for that inevitable day, or if you wanna lay yourself off, there are two common sense things to do. The first move is to create a backup plan just in case. This is what I call your contingency plan just in case you are laid off, okay? Uh, this is what jump-started me. So you probably know my story real quick. I was an engineer and I had this great boss who started the company and he was laid off with, with them hoping that I would take his place, okay? So I, I figure if they can do that to him and he's real famous, they can do that to me, all right? So I started preparing to be laid off and here I am today, okay? You can do the same. So the, the first move to make is, is to kind of anticipate the next chess move and create a backup plan just in case you're laid off. And guess what? That's what today's video is about, creating this backup plan, this safety net, okay? And the second move is to build an emergency fund. This is just common sense stuff. And whenever we have students that tell me, Peter, I wanna leave my job, one of my first thoughts and things to share with them, okay, so do you have, a, do you have a, uh, an emergency fund? Because it may take a while to get things going in order for you to leave a job and get things started. So have some money saved up. It can be cash, HELOC, it can be retirement savings, whatever. Just have an emergency fund just in case, okay? These two things I call two common sense moves, okay? At any point during this video, if you have a question for me, go ahead and text me. Text Peter to 833-942-4516. We'll love to hear from you, okay? All right, let's continue on with establishing this safety net. We're gonna start off right here with my six step action plan. This is actually my plan that I use to protect myself from getting laid off, right? And I'm gonna break it all down for you so you can see exactly what I did and what we teach our students to do if they are contemplating wanting to lay themselves off or if there's rumors of them getting laid off or they have been laid off, this is the plan that we need to use to protect yourself, okay? All right, now, if you could hold on to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you this plan as it downloads a PDF that you can download yourself and use it to track your progress. And I can almost get, almost guarantee you're gonna get results by putting this plan into place. Okay, I'm gonna start off with step number one, okay? Step number one is to do a quick financial assessment, okay? What, what I mean by this is for you to 
uh, calculate your bare minimum monthly survival needs in terms of dollars. What do you need uh, per month to survive? Is it 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 a month, 15, whatever? What do you need per month uh, to, to survive and pay the bill? This is bare minimum, okay? Uh, bare minimum, okay? So no vacations, no lattes, no eating out. Give me your mortgage, your rent, insurance, taxes, insurance, your phone bill, bare minimal, okay? I need to know that number and you need to know the number. We call this your financial assessment. This is where you start. This is step one. So we can, we can start our goal setting from the top down, right? So if we know we need $7,500 a month to survive on, we put that at the top and then we establish the action steps to achieve that goal. Got it? Okay. It's the best way to get out of the rat race. Okay. So give me that number. Okay. Remember, your bare minimal. Okay. No extra. Okay. No extra. No vacations, lattes, eating out. And I want you to, you have to write it down. And you know the stats. 45% of the people who write their goals down are likely to achieve them. Okay. And the other 55%, this is just a dream. I want you to write it down. And then uh, I want you to put in comments what, what your bare minimum number is per month. Put in comments so I know, okay? So I know. And then I let you know what mine was way back when was just myself and my son, okay? And I had a mortgage. I had his school. I had insurance. I had, uh, you know, uh, grocery, uh, things like that. And that was uh, forty two twenty per month. That was what I call my rat race number, my minimum number that I had to bring home from other investments or to protect myself from being laid off is $42.20 per month. What is yours? Okay, I would like to know what yours is. Go ahead and put it in comments, right? So that we can go on to step two to take. Let's do that next. Here is step number two. Okay, step number two is you need to start building your knowledge. So I call this the education and skill development step, okay? And uh, a, a new game requires new skills, okay? And this new game that we're about to play here is called Income Producing Real Estate, okay? It's a new game. A quick example, uh, my wife and I, we recently took up uh, pickleball. It's the funnest sport in the world. I call myself a person who's in shape but this, this pickleball, which is for older people, it's hard, harder than I thought. So many new skills I have to learn. So many people that are older and out of shape that are way better than me is because they have a certain knowledge set and a skill set that I don't have yet, but I'm gonna get there. Just like you, I, you can get there too and, and master right this game called income producing real estate. How do you do that? I'm gonna make it easy for you. Uh, commercial Property Advisors is an educational company, so we can easily teach you how to master the game of income producing real estate, okay? Investing real estate. But, and we're gonna start off here to make it easy for you. Uh, you can download a book. The book is, I don't know, 50 or 60 pages of no fluff. It is straight towards how to buy investment real estate. So buy, so down, go ahead and download it, it's free, okay? We also have a world-class uh, course, an online course that's world-class, all right? So that link will appear. That's free as well. So spend time on, on those type of things. And also, too, for those of you who like to binge watch, I have a gazillion videos on this YouTube channel of how to get into uh, uh, real estate, how to thrive in it, how to get financing, what to do if you don't have a lot of money, how to manage it, how to work with realtors, how to go direct with property owners. All of that is, is if you subscribe to this channel and just go through all the videos, it's, it's all there, okay? To learn this new game that's going to end up being your uh, safety net, okay? This is, how you're, this is a step two of how you're going to protect yourself against getting laid off, okay? So that's step two. Let's go to probably maybe the most important one, which is step three. Here we are with step number three. Step number three is create your support system. You need a support system 
don't try to do this six six step action plan by yourself okay not all the steps step number three you need to include others okay and real estate investing is a team sport okay so you need uh, uh, cr uh, critical team members to help you out and I want you to start building your uh, your team okay that will consist of proper manager a local proper manager a local lender a real estate agent and maybe a contractor okay so just start building your team again when you download this PDF at the end of the uh, this video here uh, I'll show you how to get these people on your team okay all right and then lastly probably the most important part for me is to leverage someone else's experience okay so when I again this is my personal plan when I started enacting this plan uh, I was already in my maybe my late 30s or early 40s and so I didn't have a lot of time and I couldn't afford to make any mistakes all right so what I would I needed a shortcut okay so I did step one step two and then I, I needed a boost so what I did was I hired a coach to teach me the the rest of this so I can get to step four and and start buying properties that will uh, protect me from getting laid off okay and uh, so I need you to do the same thing put this team together and if you want to leverage someone else's experience hey that's us okay so you can actually hire us to help you get to to accelerate or put uh, some gas or turbo boost this uh, uh, step three to get to step four which is actually buying something okay all right so there you are step one two and three let's go to step number four here we are with step number four step number four is all about putting theory into action enough of uh, practicing and putting steps one two and three together now it's time to put uh, pedal to the metal and actually show results I've just surrounded myself with students who took action and some of this action was very very small some of this action was a little larger some of this action was huge but all of them got started that's the most important thing you can do is to get started okay so they got started by buying life-changing income producing real estate that's what uh, this safety net is, net is and that's what I want you to do you're going to start by reminding yourself of step one okay step one is you you uh, did your financial assessment and you figured out that you needed let's say I'll make it up six thousand dollars a month as survival money bare minimal right and then once you buy your first property and it cash flows let's say a thousand a month I want you to to strike that six thousand now you're down to five thousand that's exactly what I did until I got it to zero and I was able to leave my job so it's a step-by-step -step process it does take time Rome was not built in a day but you'll be surprised over a course of time what you have built that's exactly what our students have done okay all right and starting local is best I believe if you can drive the property you can understand the market you can meet the owners you can uh, meet the agents there property manager it's it's the easiest way to start and it's okay to start small as I mentioned some of our students started with a small apartment building or a small property then they went large that's absolutely okay you do you do not have to start with one property to make your your seven thousand dollars a month cash flow you don't have to do that you can start small and uh, next I want you to believe okay believe that you can do this without lots of money okay you can do creative financing you can learn how to raise private money you can even wholesale okay so the most important thing is to get started here okay now you're probably wondering can I afford to do this of course you can okay can I afford it there's a video that I just posted it's called can I afford to buy commercial property I want you to watch that video because I would what I want to do here is create an excuse for your environment so that video will take care of your excuses if you can afford it or not okay we're all about taking uh, actionable uh, steps toward uh, protecting yourself from getting laid off got it all right okay so that's step four let's go to step five all right here we are step five and all I'm doing here in these six steps I'm sharing with you my own personal life journey right 
from protecting myself from being laid off and actually laying myself off to our students achieving the same thing. So step five, really important. Step five is a mindset, okay? It's a mindset. And the mindset is to achieve a visibility from layoffs, okay? Because if you've achieved step one, if you completed step one, step two, step three, and step four, you're now that things are in motion, okay, you got things in motion now, you can now see yourself becoming less and less vulnerable to the possibility of being laid off, okay? The feeling here is empowerment. You feel empowered at this point now because you've taken action, steps one, two, three, four, and here you are at step five, okay? So for me personally, uh, at this point, uh, if I was uh, laid off, um, I'd be more than good, all right? Because I've already started the process. I've already started creating a cash flow so I can see that if they were laying me off, my backup plan, right, which is my safety net, is already taking place and I can see it working. This is exactly what we do for our students and this is what income producing real estate can do for you too if you can execute a plan that works for the last 20 years, okay? It's not rocket science. You can do it, all right? So, okay, so this is uh, step five. Again, it's a mindset of empowerment, okay? And when you feel empowered for something, you started to take off. And when you start to take off, we're gonna go to step six. Now I'll show you exactly what to do there. Here we are, last but not least, step number six, okay? Step number six is probably the most exciting step of them all. And this step is your transition to full-time real estate investor. So if you can take uh, steps on, action on steps one through five, you're gonna get to step number six, okay? Step number six here, it says this occurs naturally, okay? So if you can take action one through five, right? This step, transitioning to real estate full-time, it becomes natural. Just look at our students here. We have uh, Bruce and Renee. We have uh, we have uh, both of our Chris's. The pictures will appear here. Uh, our student Takashi, uh, Dean, all these students, the pictures will appear because they took steps uh, one through five and now they have made the transition. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. Yes, guess what? It did take them some time and some work and a lot of phone calls with us, but that's absolutely okay. All right, look where they are now. All right, now, here's why it happens, okay? When your job, okay, the job you're on now starts getting in the way of your real estate business, then it's time to make a decision, okay? We all had to make that decision. I had to, they had to. Uh, which direction are we going to go? We're in, a, we're in a bifurcation moment, a fork in the road. Do we go towards building a career more in our job? Or do we now go off into our new passion, which is real estate investing, right? And most of us have cho chosen real estate investing because of the benefits. Here are the benefits. The benefits are, if you can do this full time now, you are gonna qualify what we call REP, real estate professional status, okay? That's a status that you achieve with the IRS, where if you can work in real estate full time without a job, you can get unlimited tax write-offs. I mean unlimited, okay? Hundreds of thousands of dollars of tax write-offs, so you never have to pay taxes, hopefully, again, okay? The, uh, also, the other benefits, so you can now maximize the cash flow because now all your attention is on being the asset manager, not the property manager, but you're managing the management, okay? That takes skill. Uh, you can now execute some extra strategies. What if by now you want to sell a property or do a cash out refi? Now you have all this time to dedicate to this, to that strategy, to even grow your portfolio. If you want, you can now start teaching your kids. That's what I did. You can start teaching your kids young of how this business works because you know down the road, part of your goal here is to leave a nice legacy for them. Why not start them early, okay? And uh, one of the coolest parts are your vacations now are paid for by your real estate, okay? So you need to talk to your tax account how to do that, but that is possible, okay? And a lot of our students do do that, okay? All right, so there you are. There are all the benefits. Uh, there are all the steps right there. Again, uh, all of these steps, I'm gonna give you a gift right now. All these steps 
or in a downloadable file that you can click on on the screen, you can download it. I have built out all these steps and put them in, put them in, uh, in actionable steps in order for you for you to follow. Okay, so please check it out and let me know if you think it's cool or not. I think it's so cool that we've given you a step-by-step -step process on what to do to protect yourself from being laid off. Okay, it's part of a it's as a is it part of the start of a wonderful uh, uh, journey in your life. All right, got it. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Go ahead and like this video. Uh, if you want to uh, learn more about what we do here and become one of our students, the link will appear. If you just wanted more videos, right, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you just want to read a book, go ahead and check it out there. Thank you, everyone, so much for hanging out this long with me. I really, really, really appreciate you, and I'll see you at the next video.